winter solstice marks the beginning of the season of winter in the northern hemisphere, which lasts until the spring equinox in March. This year it occurs on December 21st. It marks the exact moment when half of the earth is tilted farthest away from the sun. The winter solstice is one of the most powerful points of the year when the axis of the earth pauses, shifts, and moves in the opposite direction. I can't help but think that we humans might naturally do this too unknowingly at this time of year. As we prepare for the new year that's coming and bed into winter, we might pause, shift, and move in the opposite direction. The winter solstice is a time to reflect on the past year. What worked? What didn't work? What's coming up for me? I'm not in planning mode yet. I'm more in reset mode. I need to reset because I know that change is coming. So whether you're watching this on the winter solstice or not, I hope you take the time to reset before the new year arrives. This is pivotal. It's like cleansing your palate as you prepare to embark on the new year. Reset is different for everyone. It is also synonymous with self-care. For me, it's about detaching my mind from the cares of the past year. And there were many cares. It's about disconnecting from commitments and social media and even some responsibilities at home. All women should do this. We never turn off. We never rest. We need to reset ourselves. The images you've been seeing have not all occurred on the same day, but they are examples of how I reset. Fertilizing the roses, tending to my orchids, playing the piano, baking, cooking for pleasure, reading a book, planning for the new year, journaling, stepping outside in nature, resetting myself. Cleansing my palate. How will you do that this solstice? One of my favorite quotes that I discovered this past year comes from Clarissa Pinkola Estes, the author of Women Who Run With the Wolves. She writes, Though fairy tales end after 10 pages, our lives do not. We are multi-volume sets. In our lives, even though one episode amounts to a crash and burn, there is always another episode awaiting us, and then another. There are always more opportunities to get it right, to fashion our lives in the ways we deserve to have them. Don't waste your time hating a failure. Failure is a greater teacher 
than success. So as you reflect upon this last year, certainly revel in your successes and triumphs, but also don't shy away from the hardest parts, from the perceived failures. Confront them head on. I find this important to do for a proper reset. Those events from the past year were not failures. Those events were master teachers. Reflect upon it all, only the way that speaks to you. It could be through journaling, out in nature, or baking a cake. Allow yourself those reflective moments and time to think. During this time, you will refresh your soul. this video. I'll see you on Thursday for the last video of the year on The Daily Connoisseur. It will be my special Christmas gift for you. Love you and see you then. Love, Jennifer.